Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Hi there, Tyler. Obviously, we know that you were saying that it was kind of windy, but hopefully it will kind of even itself out, right? Yeah, and the sun is out. The sun will feel good. And then tomorrow we've got temperatures in the 60s. So a lot of back and forth this week. But welcome to spring in New England. That's just how it goes. We have some more reports here. The wind, Chazy at 45. The Rutland Airport at 44. I mean, it's just across the board with these gusts between 40 and about 55 miles per hour. Plymouth at 41. Waterbury in Washington County at 42. And the Potsdam Airport representing the Seaway Valley at 41. Now, these current wind gusts are a little bit less than that, so it's a sign of things to come as the wind continues to diminish this evening. Lebanon has a 26 mile per hour gust right now. The bright sunshine tomorrow, as I mentioned, and Thursday, I would say when you look at the last couple of weeks, Thursday might be the most wintry of the last couple of weeks. And by that, I mean the possibility for accumulating wet snow. Look at Mount Mansfield, the camera here on the TV station in South Burlington shaking a little bit. But I wanted to show you Mount Mansfield because the snow depth on top is 40 inches below average for this date. If you're a skier, that stings to hear that. The average is 73. We're at 33 on the summit. So it's been a rough March, 37 right now at the airport in Burlington. The clouds are going away on Storm Tracker. Big high pressure coming in for tomorrow. So if you want to get a creamy, yeah, you could today. But Tomorrow will feel like spring. Uh, after all, it is spring, but it'll actually feel like it tomorrow. There's the sunshine as we go through Tuesday on Futurecast. Wednesday starts out dry. It's still mild. The clouds are thicker. And I think by Wednesday afternoon, there's some rain showers. But if you're not watching the screen, take a look at this. As we go into Wednesday night and Thursday morning, the blue shows up, a flip to snow. So because it's rain initially and we're kind of marginal near 32, it's probably a wetter snow. But as you see here going through Thursday, it might stick around. And some of the indications we're seeing now have the Adirondacks as the bullseye with um, perhaps a couple of inches of snow on Wednesday. So we'll have to watch that. Overnight for this night, it's cold. 20s for most of us. Everything freezes up. The snow will be rock solid. But 64 in Burlington tomorrow. Plattsburgh coming in at about 59. Lake Placid at 57. And Southern Vermont will have low 60s in the lower elevations. Bennington coming in at 61. So here's the five-day forecast showing the quiet weather tomorrow. I think tomorrow's the pick of the week, without a doubt. The rain showers in here later Wednesday, flipping over to wet snow Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And then by Friday and Saturday, it's a lot quieter. For Easter there, it will be more like spring. There looked to be a lot of clouds, maybe a light shower, but we have time to refine that forecast. And plenty to watch before we even get to Easter. Sarah Beth? All right, Tyler. <laughs>